Okay, everyone. Welcome to our new series, which is basically the tutorials that ARC does not give you to begin with. We're going to go through everything and basically from low level to high level, go through stuff and see how it works, what it can be used for, how to best utilize it. We'll throw a few dinos here and there inside. But this is basically just a tutorial. So I'm Bo, this is Creature Crew Gaming, and let's begin our first one. First thing we're going to talk about is your first XP farm, which is the Mortar and Pestle. I believe you learned this at level 6 along with the Spark Powder and the Narcotic. But as soon as you learn this, you can start leveling up fairly quickly. I mean, it's its own little XP. Sorry, I dropped my pin. And it's its own little XP farm because everything you make in the Mortar and Pestle, the Smithy, and everything gives you experience so first off let's go see everything we can make inside of here okay as of right here what you can see is you can see preserving salt which i believe i'm on uh, crystal isles but i believe preserving salt is only on scorched earth i could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong but that's where i believe it's at then you have your clay and your spark powder, cementing paste, gunpowder, and propellant. Propellant is also a scorched earth only one, I believe. Consumables, drugs, don't do drugs, kids. Narcotic, you will need this. It's what gets you tames. Stimulant, I don't use it a lot, but it keeps you from getting being knocked out, and it's used in a lot of recipes. Bug repellent, very handy on certain things that you have to tame. If I remember correctly, there's an also, oh, what is it? There's a tame that actually eats it. But for low levels, it is kind of expensive to make because you won't have your Centronol or rock carrots. Uh, pelts, wool, and hair is very hard to get at low levels. You also have your lesser antidotes. And these are the simple diseases that you can get in the game. You won't get them very often unless you're someplace you're not supposed to be when you're low level. But again, they're also kind of difficult to make it a low level. So, let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Your big ones for running an XP farm is going to be Spark Powder. And Narcotic. Now, Spark Powder is going to be used for both making gunpowder, but for a low level before you have gunpowder, its best uses are going to be used for like your uh, forge. Because if you put it in the forge, it's not going to create the extra, uh, oh, what's it called? Charcoal. Wow, brain's everywhere today. It's going to make no charcoal. But I think it actually burns a little bit longer. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not perfect at this game. Just trying to give you guys a rundown. But you can use it to make the, this. And you'll need a lot of it. A lot. Because see, it takes two to one. Two flint, one stone to make this. And then it takes one spark powder. So basically to make one gun powder, it's going to take... Two flint, one stone. So if we come over here, and yes, I'm in creative mode. Uh, weapons. Ammo. Simple rifle will take 12 gunpowder. That means it'll take 12 spark powder, 12 charcoal. So that means you'll need 24 flint and 12 stones per bullet and that's just the simple one i mean you also have the, this simple bullet over here which you can take six but long story short you'll make the most of these because these are used to make these and not to mention when you get into these ones it, it gets expensive and it gets expensive quick bullets are expensive the simple bullets, I believe... Nope, that one takes 40. 
We're gonna even talk about these. Wow. Wow. What? Those cost the exact same? I never knew that. Oh, well, back to what I was saying. But as you can see, they're very expensive to make. So, what I would recommend doing is having three of these, one for your spark powder, one for your cementing paste, because let me tell you, you're going to need cementing paste. I'll explain why in a moment. And then, and then another one for your narcotics. Again, narc berries at the low level are kind of expensive. You have to go out and get them by hand. But once you get a trike or a stego, even a parasaur, you'll get them no problem at all. It'll be very, very easy. So the biggest thing there wouldn't have been spoiled meat. But once you get a feeding trough or some meeting dinosaur, I, it doesn't take long at all. But back to what I was saying, cementing paste. Another thing you're going to need. Because if you're like me and you're horrible, 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 about going to raid beaver dens to get cementing paste, or you just absolutely hate going to kill all those precious little penguins on the island, you'll need a tomato polymer. Now let's look at this. It takes two cementing paste and two obsidian to make polymer. Obsidian's already sometimes difficult to get at a low level, depending on where you're at and what you're doing. But look at this, two cementing paste. That means 16 stone and eight chitin keratin per cementing paste. Now, yes, that's a lot. And you're probably thinking, oh, if we only need four or five of them, that's no big deal, not at all. Yeah, yeah, you need to just stop that right now. Because let me show you something here. So, your level up from the mortar pestle is the chemistry bench, which you put in, I think it's two or three times the amount of your, for like spark powder, it would be four or six, something like that for flint, and you would get back more. Instead of, if it's double the requirements, you're gonna get six times more stuff. I know, math, make you do math, but sometimes it's nice to do a little math in here so you don't have a less than you need. But let's just see how much polymer this takes. 250. So who wants to do some math? So, I'm horrible at math, I'm getting out of calculator, guys. So bear with me just a moment. Maybe, do I have a calculator? Wow, my phone does not have a calculator. All right, it was old-fashioned way. So it's 250, okay? So 250 for that. And if we come over here, and it takes two cementing plates, so we're at 500 cementing paste. Okay, five times four is 20. 2,000 chitin keratin. Yeah, that's a lot. Especially when things only give you 6, 15, maybe 25 keratin if you're lucky. Or chitin. If you're lucky. Not to mention the stone. 5 times 8, that's, that's 4,500 stone. I mean, of course, once you get a dodicarus... It's pretty easy to get all that. But the low levels, you're going to go get that all by hand. Now, yes, I did show you something that's a little more advanced. Let me see. I know there's something here that... Uh, there. Even that, that's 10. So 10, 20. I mean, you get the gist here. I mean, it can be used for all sorts of things here. Um, what was I looking for? Hey, dummy. Let's do this the right way. Structures. From crafting defense, electrical. Once you get. Oh, and greenhouse. Oh my. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> you, you are going to use a lot of cementing paste. A lot of cementing paste, a lot of gunpowder. It's kind of insane. Now, yeah, let's look at this real quick. So we're going to say I'm at about 225. Oh, it's not going to let me. Oh, I was hoping in creative mode I could do it. Nope, it's not going to let me. I can't tell you exactly how much it gives you. But I know that if you fill this up with stone and flint, you're going to gain a level when you're low levels. Now, when you're the higher levels, of course, things are harder to do. You're not going to get all those levels. But for the most part, I mean, that's everything about the mortar and pestle. Yes, I have it placed on the ground here, but that is because we are on a tree platform. Other than that, unless you're running Structures Plus on Steam, on both consoles, on the Microsoft Store, this has to be put on a foundation. I personally prefer to put them on a table on a foundation, just because it looks nicer. And you can fit three of them on a table. So that right there is the three that you would need. But for the most part, that is all you really need to know about the mortar and pestle and how to quickly get it. it. Has to go on a foundation. They can be a quick XP farm if you use the narcotic, the gunpowder, and the or the narcotic, the spark powder, and the cementing paste. And it's just one of those nice things. You put everything in it. You start it. You leave it alone. Come back every now and again to check on it. See if you need to restart it. Or put some more in it but this is going to be your first experience farm at low levels this is how you're quickly going to get up to the level where you get trank arrows where you get guns where you can get the better armor and better saddles this is how you're going to level up early in the game but that is it for our first how-to video I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little something or maybe something new is what I'm going for here. Or maybe you didn't learn anything at all and you just enjoyed the video. But either way, if you could give me a like, that would really help. See you guys next time.